Hello all. In this video, we'll see uh, about profile options. So profile options are used for hard coding uh, to avoid hard coding values in scripts or any uh, other other ways where we can validate uh, using profile option. But this is mainly useful for uh, scripts. And of course, uh, uh, there are some other areas also where uh, we will be using these profile options. So first of all, uh, like uh, we'll go to uh, uh, global search and uh, we'll search for the task. So there are uh, two, two steps here uh, for using profile options. So the first one is uh, to creating a custom profile option. So for that, we'll go to uh, manage profile options. So once you drill down to manage profile options, so you will see the list of profile options, existing profile options. And if you want to create a custom profile option, just click on plus button and then uh, you will be navigated to uh, profile option creation page. So here uh, you need to give the, uh, you need to give the few uh, details like profile option code. So suppose uh, if you are giving uh, account account uh, priority okay so account priority values okay so uh, we'll give the uh, profile option code and then uh, after that the profile option name Uh, then application. So application we can select uh, commonly as uh, application common components uh, so that uh, it will be available for all. And uh, when it comes to module, so we can select either CRM application composer or uh, uh, if, if, if the profile option is uh, designed specifically for the, uh, for a module, so we can select that particular module. Uh, since uh, we will be using this uh, profile option for uh, CRM and uh, we are going to use this uh, uh, profile option specifically in application composer. So we can select uh, application composer, CRM application composer. But if you want to use uh, in some other module, uh, so we can select uh, the other uh, uh, module like common CRM. So if we select common CRM, it will be applied uh, for all uh, across the uh, across the application. So you can select uh, common uh, CRM. So it's uh, it's our um, so depending upon our uh, need, uh, so we can uh, select the module, so, but uh, it will suit for uh, common CRM or application composer. So, and then the description and uh, if you want to uh, end date or uh, give this particular profile option for a specific period, so we can give, uh, so we can give a uh, this option uh, for start date and end date. Otherwise we can uh, just give start date and then we can leave it uh, end date so that it will be uh, uh, available for uh, future. And then uh, one more thing we have is here SQL validation. So this SQL validation is uh, to provide the list of uh, predefined values, okay? So in case uh, if we have some values uh, available in the system, so we can retrieve those values 
using SQL and then we can provide that SQL here. Based on that SQL results, the uh, list of values will be enabled. For a simple example, uh, so suppose we have already account priority field. So where we have uh, three values, high, low, and medium. So if we want, so that is a lookup. So, so what we can do is we can query for the uh, lookup table, uh, F and D lookups, and then we can give the meaning. Okay, so if you want to display the meaning, so we'll, 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 we can we can display. And where lookup type equal to lookup type name. Okay, this is how we can give uh, SQL validation. So where we will provide the SQL code here. So similarly, we can uh, we can give any SQL here and then we can uh, uh, retrieve the values. So if we don't give, it will be like a free text. Uh, free text. It's a kind of a text field so that it will be available. Uh, so user need to enter manually. But if it is a SQL validation, the values are already defined. So now after creating this profile option, so again query for the same uh, profile option. Okay, so account priority. And in this one, uh, so we have we have to set this uh, level site level or whether it's a, uh, whether we need to enable for user level also so by default uh, so uh, if you want to use so we should set uh, for um, so we should set for site level and if it's any specific uh, user also if you are using so we can select uh, user based also here i selected both uh so by and then uh, if if we have uh, if the logged in user has a uh, user defined value so that will be retrieved in the groovy script for that user uh, if it is not available then it will uh, be the site level value so now we will go to uh, to set so to set this values we need to go to manage admin profile option So again, search for the same uh, task here. And now click on plus. And now you can see two uh, values, whether it's a site level or user level. So if you select user level, uh, you need to select the username. And uh, if it is not, uh, so then, um, okay. Now in the drop down, you can see the list of values. So, so as we discuss, uh, as we uh, like in the in the lookup, we have we have these three values. These three are already showing. And if you want at site level, uh, uh, it's uh, high. Okay. So this is how we'll set and uh, so now with this person if I log in and then if I uh, use the, this profile option the value returned will be uh, low but if any other user uh, logs in so the value will be high. So this is how profile options will be worked and uh, so for more on uh, profile option so we have a blog so uh, just refer uh, that blog in the description thank you